Hi there, my name is Liam and I'm with Fortress Power. Today we're going to be looking at the three main types of lithium batteries and how their packaging format can affect their overall performance and longevity in home energy storage. We're going to start first with pouch cells. This is the most common type uh, and in fact you may already have one in your pocket in the form of your cell phone. They can also be found in things like drones or small portable electronics. They're also used extensively by GM for their Volt and Bolt electric vehicles, as well as Nissan for the LEAF. Because the cell packaging is a lightweight plastic pouch, they offer a very good weight to energy and power density ratio, which is good for something like a drone that needs to fly for long periods while carrying its own weight. It does, however, have some downsides when used in more stationary packs, such as home energy storage or an electric vehicle. Since the pouch is not a rigid enclosure, special attention has to be paid to the overall battery structure to ensure that the individual cells are not able to expand over time during charge and discharge. In addition, the pouch cell has extra safety concerns during a short circuit or an overcharge event uh, where the buildup in pressure can cause the cell to swell. This poses a serious risk if the pressure releases at once, while prismatic and cylindrical cells have built-in vent mechanisms to prevent mass buildup of gas inside the cell. Cylindrical cells are the next common type and these are found in things like the Tesla Powerwall and most laptop batteries. They offer a good compromise between the pouch and prismatic cells in terms of form factor and versatility. Um, the main benefit being that the cell is actually housed in a stronger steel shell to protect the battery uh, from any expansion over time. The downside, however, of the smaller individual cylindrical cells is that due to their low individual energy content, many more individual batteries must be assembled into a larger pack to make a usable battery for home storage or an electric vehicle. In the instance of a Tesla Model S, over 7,000 cells must be grouped together in series and parallel to make the total high voltage battery pack. As you can imagine, with 7,000 cells, the possibility of individual cell failure becomes much more likely, uh, and this also means that there's many more connections between cells, which can lead to more failure points. Fortress Power utilizes a hybrid approach between pouch and cylindrical, which is the large format prismatic cell. Um, as you can see in the example image here uh, of the multiple layers of the cell, it essentially uh, mimics that of a cylindrical, um, but squashed. So the layers are wound tightly together and then inserted into a steel canister. Um, the benefit of this approach is that the cells can be made using the same automated manufacturing process of the cylindrical cell while also being very economic to produce. Also, the larger form factor of each of the cells in terms of energy density and rectangular format make it easier to assemble battery modules, as you can see here in the bottom left-hand corner, um, before being finally integrated into the end product, such as our Evolt Max, Max which you can see here. Um, this lower cell count individually means that there's less connections and less wiring, which contributes to less failure points uh, in the end product. So as you can see here, we have a battery cell comparison with good, better, and best, with Prismatic coming out ahead of the competition uh, in terms of overall lower complexity in the battery pack design, as well as better thermal stability thanks to the larger individual cells, which are better able to dissipate heat in the pack structure. I hope this brief comparison has been helpful. For more information on our batteries, be sure to check out FortressPower.com. Thanks.